Hello folks, I had a comment a while back on a, a video I made called Try Something Different and it was coming from Joe and he says, I think Bob Ross once said if he had to explain it then he didn't want to paint it. For me I've gone more the direction of making watercolour look like oil paintings like they did in the Victorian era. I like the idea of having work that really looks different and is recognised as my own. I think it's interesting what Joe says about making watercolours look like oil paintings because that's something I've tried to do myself um, in recent times. I know traditionally watercolours are meant to be fresh, transparent, very clean um, and I've always thought well I can imagine people saying well if you want to look like oil paintings why not just use oils? I think for me I love there's sort of no fuss of, of watercolours. There's no setting up, there's, there's nothing, you just pick them up and you just go. I can make as much mess as I want and it just washes straight off. And I'm, I'm pretty sure one day, I'm not necessarily, I don't know if I'm good enough now, but I'm sure one day I can get them to look like oils. But without all the, all the hassles of, that goes with oil painting, I'll probably contradict myself now and say, I'm, I'm a big, I've, a, a lot of the times in past videos, um, I think actually the, the, the previous video to this, in fact, I think I've mentioned about fiddling and not fiddling. Whereas I found the more I fiddle with a part, I actually find myself fiddling more now with paintings than I ever done um, to get that sort of oily effect. It's, it's hard to explain really. I think what I'm trying to create is, is a sort of trying to make it look as, as abstract as, as I possibly can with as many layers and washes and no and no hard edges um, but I think in my personal opinion what I'm what I'm doing with with the fiddling is I think I'm actually I am actually improving it where as in the past I've tended to make it look worse I think as long as you retain your lights and your darks and you're not creating sort of muddy effects um, then I don't know if fiddling's the right word but it, it, you, you can create some wonderful effects but it's, it's doing it in a way where you don't end up with a complete mess The other part of, of, of Joe's um, comments um, I like the idea of having work that looks different and is recognised as my own I think also that's what's driving me. Um, I'm trying to sort of stray from the rules as, as much as I can. Um, so I'm always under the impression, you know, if we all follow the same rules and guidelines and, and learn the same techniques, then all the paintings will look the same. That's why I've always tried to be different. Um, and in, in trying to create that sort of oil painting effect, um, they will look different from 99% of all the other paintings out there and eventually you know, it takes a lot of practice and I'm not going to say that you know, it always comes off but I'm sure I'll get there one day.